welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel it's your girl shay catrice and i am back again with another video as you guys see by the title today we are going to be cutting and dyeing i know i got it backwards it's on purpose and dyeing my hair um when i say cut as of right now the plan is to not like like cut cut just a trim but usually when I do a trim on myself, I always end up deciding at some point that I'm just going to do a shortcut. But that's not the plan. I do not want to do that because last time I regretted it, it just popped in my memories and I was like, don't do it. But I definitely need to trim my ends and I thought I might as well trim my ends before I dye my hair. Um, you can't really tell because my hair is wet. I just washed it because it needed to be washed. Um, but it's like really blonde. Once it dries, you will see it. I'm going to dye it dry, obviously. So y'all will see then. But right now it looks a little dark, but we are going to go brown. Um, I found this picture of me from like three, four years ago where I was brown, which is my natural color or dark, dark blonde, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I was like, yeah, it's time to get rid of my blonde. Y'all probably at this point is like, girl, shut up and get right into it. So we're going to get right into it. But before we jump into the video, I am not a professional, so not too much. Um, yeah. So with that being said, now we're going to get right into it. So make sure you like, make sure you comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we get right into it. So let's get it. Let's go. Okay, so basically I just parted my hair down the middle. It did dry up a little bit, so I'm going to just wet it a little bit more um, before I... Cut it. Sorry, I can't really multitask right now. Um, up in the front, y'all, I really don't know if I got heat damage for so long because every time I cut it, I don't even flat iron my hair like that. But y'all see, I comb my curls out in the back and they come right back. But like the front on both sides, like somebody please send help. Um, so yeah, not too much. I'm about to just start snipping. Probably like. Ooh, now we're being nervous. And it's not gonna be perfect. Oh shit, I'm a little scared. Oh, here we are. I had to go back and look at the video to make sure the back of my head looked okay and it looked good really curly so it really don't have to be no perfect cut honestly um but it feel better if you know you know when you cut your ends it feel way better so maybe we can go on like a maybe we can go on like a no heat challenge um or something so right now 
I am gonna let it air dry because no heat, otherwise I will blow dry it. And then I am gonna come back when it's time to dye it. So let's keep going. That's how much hair I cut off, by the way. So it ain't that much, but if you look at like, it was some length. It was dead, obviously, but it needed to go. So see y'all when it's time to dye it. Okay, you guys, so I'm finally back. It is actually the next day, probably over 24 hours since I trimmed it. Um, I did think about it also, and I'm gonna leave it this length. I'm not gonna get scissor happy, but we are officially saying goodbye to this blonde, to my blonde jaw. Um, the color I have is BAM. Light golden brown is the color. So you see what I'm, what I'm at now? And yeah, we are gonna get to that color, hopefully. Um, it's damn near like my natural color. Um, but yeah, this is just box dye. I do dye my hair all the time, or at least I used to dye my hair all the time. Let me interrupt. Um, if y'all hear banging, that is literally my upstairs neighbors. They are being that loud. Um, so disclaimer, but I used to dye my hair all the time. It's just box dye. And yeah, so that's it. That's all. I am not professional. Um, they did also give me the gloves like always, but I think I'm gonna use these gloves. Cause you know, the ones they give you be huge, but I had gloves. So, and then I have a plastic bag right here also, right here, because I would like to be able to just throw my stuff in there. As soon as I'm done, tie it up and take it outside. It's finna stink. Y'all know this stuff be stinking. Okay. I did also get two boxes. Um, Same thing, because I used to need two boxes, but I don't know. We're going to see. Bow. And then also, um, if I do need the second box, I'll do it once I start it. I don't want to mix it right now. But yeah, let me pull my hair out and I will be back. So this is what we're working with. Um, my hair was nappy. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that's what I did off camera because... And no, ma'am. But yeah, this will be working with. So I got all my little ponytail holders right here. I'm about to just put my hair up into four little ponytails. Well, three, four little sections. And then, yeah. Okay, so now we have our four little sections. One, two, three, four. Um, I mean, I am going to use the gloves they sent me. But trust the process. I'm a little scared. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I am a little scared. Um, damn. Well, let's do it. Okay, so I just finished. Um, I only used one box, but this is how it's looking right now. My hair be looking darker when it's wet. So I'm hoping this is it changing, but I literally just finished putting it in there. Um, so what I'm about to do is put my hair up in like a little ponytail, put a bag on my head and I'm gonna check in and like, 15 minutes just to take a little peek um and then that is when i will check it's definitely darker Ooh okay yeah so let me let me wrap it up and then i'll be back when i check on it in like 15 minutes 
so it's actually almost been 20 minutes. Um, I don't know if y'all can really tell, but I was taking a look at it with the flash in. First, I was thinking like I didn't really have to do my roots because like it's kind of spot on, but it's not. But that shouldn't be no problem, hopefully. We're going to find out in a minute. I really want the color like, since I did it, I want to make sure I do it and just do it right. Usually, I'll be washing it out because I'll be impatient and I'm very impatient right now. But I'm going to give it another, maybe another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So then it'll be like 35 minutes or so. Um, and yeah, we really going to let this color soak in. So why it's still soaking in, I'm going to go clean her out. There's any dishes in my sink because that's where I will be rinsing it out at. So I just scratched right here too. That's why. But yeah, so I'm going to be back in like 15 minutes. So this is what it's looking like. I waited like another 15 minutes. Um, it's looking a little, little dark. Do look a little. Um, but we're about to go to my kitchen to wash it out. And then I'll be back. Okay, guys. So here is the final. Um, I need to calm it down and all of that stuff. Put some oil in it. Yeah, so here is going to be the final look or color, I should say, because it'll be completely different when it's dry. Um, so maybe once it's dry, before I post this, I will throw in a dry clip. You can definitely see the difference. Like, the blonde is gone. The blonde is gone. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is giving this. This is like the exact color of the picture that I wanted. I don't know. I feel like I've done this exact color like three or four years ago. I throw a picture in there. Um, but I don't know, it still takes some time to get used to. I'm breaking out. But yeah, so I am going to let it air dry. I'll probably wrap it up or something. Um, and then I would throw in a dry clip after this. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Hope you guys like my new color. And yeah.